Dude, doesn't that rip? You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Welcome back to anyone that likes to get fingered. It's the You're an Idiot Let's Podcast. Go. There I'm we Alex go. Dragovich with my co-host, Jeffrey Osmus. Wow, you consider yourself among that contingent? Absolutely not. I am not gay. Let's you, go. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't like that beginning. Wow, he came uh, out firing today, No, folks. come on. I'm just trying to have fun. You know, I, I, you got a like, finger up the butt. We talked about we, this. That was the, thing. That was, that was the problem. Yes. So, this, this are a hilarious let's get, let's guest, get the Ben Cat. Katzner. Here. Ben, we discussed this once on the pod. Ben Katzner, Minnesota native. I great was man. drunk. I got a, I got a finger in the butt and I freaked the fuck out. That's okay. That's fair. Did yeah. you you didn't you didn't have a conversation previously about it. like if I'm ever she, drunk. She just slipped it in. I, she was wrong to do so, but the freak out is funny. And then I, I said, freak. I'm not, I'm not gay. Which the internalized. I, you said it that night? It just, <laughs> oh, I said it, I said it. I'm not gay. It honestly kind of was rough. like that. But Ben, how are you doing, man? Welcome to the pod. Hey, it's great to be here. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for not talking about fingering just enough so you can introduce me. <laughs> we, we didn't, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We didn't yeah. even wait a minute. We had to touch, to touch on the fingering. You know. Good to see you, boys. You ever like a finger up the butt? Yeah, that's, that's a good way to intro somebody. Yeah, turn it on me. It's really good yeah. to know you. It's really good to know you. No, first, Jeff, Jeff, you go first. Do you like a finger in the I've butt? I've never had it. I've never had it. Really? I've, I've, it's been broached, but it's never been done. Really? I think my girlfriend's afraid of my asshole, and I would uh, be too with how little yeah. I wipe it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Jeff doesn't live a, a very. She doesn't even have to life. finger it to get poop on her finger. Oh, you my You can just God. go around it, the splash. The, the amount of truth to that is disgusting. <laughs> can, we, can we change topics real quick? To yeah. How do you get pussy? It actually yes. does bother me. It's insane. Oh, constant charisma. It's wild to me. <laughs> well, I'm like not you, ugly. That's oh, not, yeah, I'm not hot. I'm not hot. You literally just talked about how much shit is caked in your asshole right yeah, now. Yeah, and women, women are dirty dogs, too. There's someone women who's are, listening right now who's like, I'd lick that out of there. Yeah, no. absolutely. Yeah. I think no one's going to the asshole for the taste. <laughs> no one's, no one's going to turn around like, oh, no, he had spinach today. They're going in. If, They're if, licking that asshole. If Jeff yeah. and his lovely girlfriend ever break up, I'll be a little hyped to see Jeff out in the single in the single world. I oh don't think God. the world's ready. It'll, I think I'm. I'm. She's saving the women of the world. It'll be Truly. a dark. It'll be a dark time. It'll be. They'll put out an APV for me or whatever that means. <laughs> APB or whatever. All you know, points bulletin. Is that APB? What that, a, APB. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's but, an APB? It's where they like warn all the cops like to look out for someone. Like, watch oh. out. Like, Jeffrey's watch a out. child it's, molester. Yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> an adult Amber Alert. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Watch but out for, for the, Jeff. He's wearing a Miller Lite basketball t-shirt and he's and he's not wearing boxers <laughs> he's not Believe wearing it. boxers and he's got some dirty fingers you will yeah. definitely be caked and shit you'll know him. <laughs> you'll know him when you smell him folks it's fine yeah you're you're also uh one of the one of the OGs in the sense that you actually knew Jeff when he was even <laughs> yeah you even know worse, me when he was even worse looking you probably, you probably know now. me for as long as Alex has in comedy that probably true? like seven yeah. or, probably like six or seven yeah, years yeah probably meant probably. like 2016. Whatever. Like somewhere around there. I, about yeah. when Trump got elected, I'm like, yeah. I need a black friend. Yeah. Like, I and need to help my rep. You still haven't found one. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you're trying, buddy. That's great. Yeah. That's why I had you on the pod. You, you never used friends. to be... You you never were like dirty, dirty. You were just like a weird guy, which sure. only oh, yeah. escalated. Sure, I, I was a weirdo on stage. Yeah, yeah on stage yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. he was. He's, he was way less. I think we talked about this last time, but like he was way less personable on stage uh, in his early. I'm gonna I'm gonna up. be the I'm the opposite of everyone else. Everyone else is like, oh, I used to come up with Bibles and like big fake joints, and it was so weird. I love that. I, I think, think was it great. was fun. The big fake joint. I forgot about <laughs> was the big fake funny. joint. I brought this massive. joint. Joint, and I would smoke it. What? And I had a I had a vaporizer taped on the inside, so I smoke would come out of my mouth. It oh, was great! Kind of fun prop <laughs> awesome. comedy. Your reaction, exactly how audiences react. <laughs> it never did well, but it was fun. It was, yeah, it was fun. How, how was on. it running a bar show with Jeffrey a year? I don't know that we you weren't. He was. He ran the same show, but after, after I was, oh, gone. It was after, yeah. okay. so it was yeah. great for me. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. shut the fuck. It's up. It's true. Yeah. You Je ran it at that cherry tree for a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Then right. it shut down during the pandemic. We were we're talking a lot. 
audience, we're talking about Airplane Mode, one of the greatest independent gang, gang. shows Airplane in New York gang. City Sorry, airplanes history. Up. It was a really good show. It was a great show. Cherry Tree Bar and what, Park Slope. Yeah, Gowanus. What was that guy's there. name who owned it? That Argentinian oh, man. Oh, was he Argentinian? I think he was. He had no idea what comedy was. But oh, we the made actual some, owner. The actual owner. I don't know. A lot of these places that do comedy, I'm like, oh, you just have this to funnel drug money. Oh, that's oh, sure. For you sure. make no money. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, okay, we'll have a weekly show in the back room. Seven yeah. people will be there. Do it forever. Who cares? We'll write oh, off yeah. the taxes yeah. or somehow it's a charitable donation. That's so yeah. crazy. That guy would come to the shows, watch in the back. Never smile and be like, great show, guys. <laughs> like, what? Okay, cool. Juan, I think his name was Juan. Back yeah. when comedy was comedy. When man. comedy was really comedy. I yeah, love The I amount love. of bar shows that I've done where, like, you ask the uh, the manager if they can turn off, like, the football game, and they're just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want yeah. us to turn off the one thing that's making us <laughs> yeah, money? Yeah. Yeah. We make Sorry money off it. Thursday night football. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, those, I love that no. you're doing comedy, but could you also just be boneless wings? <laughs> yeah. Great. It's love Jets that. Lions tonight. We can't turn it <laughs> off for comedy. Come on. It's, Two yeah. powerhouses facing off. What I did like about Jeff on that particular show, though, even though you didn't do it anymore, I feel like you would shoehorn Chicago people in. So oh, there'd be a yeah. bunch of Chicago, whether they were good, bad, I would book, or uh, We booked some questionable Midwest people. <laughs> yeah. People I'm like, Jeff? I knew this guy from 2013, and then he would just bomb his ass off in I, New York. I will say this. You, your taste has gotten a little stricter over time. Okay. When we first started, man, you thought a lot of people were funny. <laughs> yeah, that, I like, thought you were funny. That yeah. kind of stunk. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's was, name them right now. Oh, come on. Pull up come the list. On. In the Patreon, we'll name a couple of them. Okay, yeah, no, I have no no issues. Patreon. I have no issues doing I'm that. I'm in on that. There's a lot of over. I used so to Jeff, be too So Jeff nice. would book some people. Like Jeff would wreck some people, and then they would come on the show and bomb. But but yes. But then he also would wreck people who are legit like famous now. So. Sure. Yeah. I had, yeah. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. <laughs> I tried to get you on JFL Drago, and they wouldn't bite. And I don't think it's gonna happen, <laughs> folks. I don't think it's. Gonna I didn't happen. even wreck you this year. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm Why? kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, it's a. Uh, we'll get you. You know what? If I do JFL, I'm gonna I'm gonna demand half of my audition or half of my my set. What is it? A seven minute set? Yeah. Live pod. <laughs> that's I'm gonna, actually genius. You want to do a yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna do I'm gonna do three and a half minutes. I'm gonna bring you out. We're just gonna bump mics <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> just to promote the pod. Because I, I, I know I'm not gonna get anything. Like I'm not gonna get like a comedy we'll central get a thing out of it. Listeners, yeah, though, we'll, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll at least get something out of it. This you know, I, like, I won't. I'm I like. not gonna get like an audition for like. I'm not gonna get a pilot or, or whatever. I'm not gonna get a, a, a like a no, deal. No, yeah. I love your positive attitude going into this thing that you. I'm even not in, in this, silk that, again. Yeah, even yeah. in his fantasy, yeah. he's like, I couldn't possibly get anything. Yeah. You're imagining you're getting the biggest thing in your life. You're like, it's gonna fucking suck, though. Yeah, I'll be up there, and we will bump mics, and we call each other ugly for three minutes. And I say, love Peace. It. I rock with this. Okay. Okay. Say, subscribe to the great. Patreon. Ben gets it. Ben yeah. gets Hopefully, it. we get it the same year, and, and then you know, I probably won't be working with you, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll come watch your you show or whatever. You won't even talk to him in the yeah. green room. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Send a flag me down. Like. Oh, you know, different guy, different time. <laughs> Those auditions are just are so lame sometimes, though. There's such an odd pressure when you sure. do it. I don't do our audience might not know. JFL is just for laughs. It's a very it used to be a bigger deal. It's an, ar it's an archaic deal. institution. Was it was a huge and, deal. Uh, then Jeff got it. <laughs> yeah. Not a big deal anymore. <laughs> yeah. People yeah. do. They I was at I said this in the podcast, sorry, but I was at JFL again this year. Everyone was like, what year did you do it? I was like 2016. They're like, oh, 2016. <laughs> like everyone was like, oh, that was the really bad. Hold year. on. Bro. Yeah, I, I don't know how much you talk about comedy, but like we do, oh, do we, we do, like to talk. Sure. But weren't you on with like Janelle James and Tim Dillon? Yeah, yeah. So Janelle, it wasn't like a Janelle bad. Janelle is the year. one who broke out from our group, but otherwise, no one really became. Tim fit. Dillon is like a he was a rap. He was in rep. We were in unrep. Uh, different. Though. Okay, unrep was the one we didn't have. Unrep means no agents or managers, and it just was a terrible show. Janelle okay. is obviously a celebrity now, but otherwise, yeah. Me and Ismail are doing pretty well. Yeah. JP McDade's doing pretty well. Yeah. A few people quit though. Really? Yeah. Do you remember who? I Danny Palumbo, funny guy, but he I just does uh, cooking videos now. I like him. Get him on the pod. Ask him what him it's like to be happy. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Isn't I that know. the worst? People who I know quit comedy. They're just like beaming from ear to ear. I'm so proud. They're of that. just like so happy. I'm Tur our friend Turner. Yeah. Turner Barrowman. Sure. A great. He got just for laughs. A great comedian. He has a kid. 
Or yeah. two kids. One kid. One it's kid. Not a I, <laughs> oh it's not a little I keep up with Turner. I, it's podcast. one kid. It's one kid. What's he got? A full family of seven? What's a uh, good friend of mine, Todd he lives Barrymore? lives in Tulum, I think. Yeah. Uh, Turner's great. I talk Turner. to him occasionally. He does I, have a child. And he's, isn't that he's crazy? Yeah. You guys weren't in Minneapolis together. Because you started. You, you went from Madison to Chicago. Yeah, but so we, were, I went back Did you ever come down to Chicago when you were in Minneapolis? I was in Chicago once for um, some festival that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. Comedy Expo called. or something. Yeah, oh, yeah that was cool. Yeah, yeah, was I cool. liked it. That's where I met Ismail and um, Fumi. I think I didn't get picked. People. I remember that. I always held that against. The, I didn't get. I always held that against the producers. It was a good name. fest. That makes I sense. heard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having fun. <laughs> Cut the camera. Cut the dude, camera. I, I remember seeing uh, Takar at that expo. Sure. I was like, God, this guy's the funniest. Tom Takar, dude. friend of the pod, who uh, dipped early on his episode here. He what? had to go to a baseball game and left early. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Just He'll never be invited back. <laughs> Just know that, Tom. Not another show. Not no, another. He had to like, go see baseball with his friends. The Cubs. Yeah. Would you do that to us, Ben? I, if someone offered me a baseball game right now to go to, <laughs> I, would, you I got, would take the mics with you. Got me. Offered so you got offered tickets to the Staten Island Red Eagles or whatever oh, that team Have you is. ever seen what the. They're no, so, what are they like called? Right on the, is it nice? It's like right on the water. Oh, really? That okay, that great. actually would be amazing. Yeah, okay, let's I'm go to a fucking Okay, I'm into that. St. Paul Saints. Are, you ever go to a Saints Bangers. game in Minnesota? Uh, I've been over there. I've never seen a game. I've seen so way fun. more amateur baseball than a black person should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a real white guy thing. Minor league baseball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Minnesota, dog. I have white yeah, parents. There I'm we go. Friends. There we, we go. I, I do have a New York question for you because you came in here a little hot about the city. I was late. You, I'm do, sorry. Do you see yourself uh, being... Being a New Yorker for a while, or do you see yourself maybe being going back to the Minneapolis, or do you I, like, or do you just kind of go back and forth like most New Yorkers? You came like, in here and said, "I hate New York <laughs> City." I believe that's your first. Yeah, words. but I feel like everyone everyone has those you have days. to have those days. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's Where the point. I, so I'd been at home all day, and then the one time I'm like, I gotta leave. I left early. Yeah, everything was fine, and then just for whatever reason, the MTA is just like. No, you don't <laughs> have to be happy. Yeah. You, you thought you're going to be happy, but we're taking that from you. Yes. There are times where I'm, oh, I can't say this. Um, Come on, say it. Remember the subway shooter guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are times where I'm legitimately like, did we ask him why he was so mad? Because I, <laughs> I get it. Some days I get it. Like, I'm sad that people got hurt. If, people, I don't, if you're on the F train and it gets like, we're rerouting on the E line. You get one bullet. Just, you can just yeah. shoot one, and not at a person, yeah. but let it clang around. Just let, just yeah. fire it off. Just hit the trash train a little yeah, bit. You yeah. know what I mean? There are some times where you're just so frustrated on the train, and then someone you're across from someone that you you just you don't like yeah. their vibe, and you're like. You're making my trip worse today. You know absolutely, one hundred percent. Where you're just I, like they, you don't even know. Like, they don't. They, they're just a hard, They're just a normal person, and you're like, I don't want to fucking look at you. I mean, I saw right someone now. yesterday on the train. I posted on Instagram. They were wearing a desktop computer as their head as a helmet. Ugh, you know what that massive bothers me? Desktop computer, and they were looking through it. That bothers it me because insane. it was probably for like a TikTok or something. You and know they would I mean? love the attention. They Everyone wanted was you to filming be loved. them and they yeah, loved yeah, it and yeah. I hated it. But it was, yeah, I had to take a picture too. You could not. The homeless guys were freaking out. Yeah. They were like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? They were looking at him like, holy shit. Like, this is the shit I've been talking about. It's computer head. We all know he's here. That's the person so identified it as binary. Ooh. <laughs> oh no come on that's a good rip come oh, on it's a no. great joke come no. on oh, no. their gender they only have binary you get it no no we got I it i bet no. drago doesn't get it God God damn, i actually I bet you don't get it explain it uh i can't explain it but i just know it bombed. you don't even know he doesn't <laughs> yeah. even get it he didn't even get it i know it was wordplay though what's the word yeah it was wordplay okay you, you wor got that but wordplay does not hit on this pod <laughs> oh come on <laughs> also we've talked about how much we hate her a wordplay before. Oh, no. I thought you were gonna say like non-binary people. There's between <laughs> puns. Pretty nervous. Yeah. <laughs> We've oh, said no. how we feel about that gender. <laughs> Don't make jokes about it. No, wordplay is good. Puns are bad. They're different. Drag on. One day you'll learn the difference. No, 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 no. Are they different? They are different. Isn't I a think. pun a play on words? I think Damn. a pun is a specific type of wordplay. <laughs> Can we look this up, Bonds? It is under I, the I umbrella, hope. though. It's, it's, a, it's like a rectangle. Rectangles are a square is a rectangle, but not all rectangles are square. And they're both bombed 30 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> Difference between word. Okay, here we go. A pun is a humorous use of a word or phrase so as to emphasize or suggest different meanings or applications. A 
play on words is a pun or the act of punning. Okay, well, that kind of. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, I hate it. Uh, words is a pun. It. So I, I don't listen it. to the podcast that much, but is the rule that you have to kill yourself I now? I hate it. Because <laughs> I think you should. Fuck. Okay. Well, yeah. you hate. Well, well, Jeff, how do you want to recover from that bomb? 91 episodes in, first mistake. <laughs> so, oh, you right, know, right. You right, had right, to right, get right. it. Okay. Yeah. You know what, Drago? It's great. I'm going to redeem myself right oh, now. I got a little trivia about history, for you right now. Fucking A. You're such a pussy for, for that, right I'm now. just like the mom that got the stepdad all fired up. He's yeah. going to take it out on you. I'm yeah, going to show yeah, you yeah. who's boss. Sorry, man. Yeah, you know okay. what, Drago? Here we go. I hope, this, I hope you get you're, this wrong. You're so lame for I this. hope you get this fucking wrong, you piece of shit. <laughs> Even though I was wrong. Drago, there's no way you get this right. Because <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. Uh, Binary. <laughs> it was a good pun. Whether it was a pun or not, it was. What causes wind, Drago? Mm. You got it, baby. Come on. What, ca- what causes wind? What causes wind? Sent in by a listener. I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but thank you for sending it in. First off, name the listener. I can't remember. I they, I wrote it down on the sheet of paper. Strike I forgot two. to I forgot to screenshot it. That's uh, I'll I'll be hit later. My girlfriend's gonna hit me later for this. So you're gonna right. get rewarded. Yeah. all of a sudden? <laughs> that's crazy. I'm gonna get a boner. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving Drago a lot of time to think here. And I'll be honest, I don't quite know the answer. I, like, I, like, I, don't I know think I, I vaguely like, know. Uh, there's a, I have a few. Where like, does the wind I, come I, from? I think I'm thinking like my brain's thinking like temperature changes, but I know that's not quite it. I think that's closer than you, you think. You're in the region. I for think sure. you're. In, I, I know. I know. I know. Tornadoes are for when it goes from like cold to hot, like pretty quickly. Uh, like yeah. When, it drops. when a hot front hits a cold front. Yeah. And that's kind of wind. A tornado is a type of wind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. a pun is a play on words. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the nail in my coffin. <laughs> You'll be getting a new co-host next week. Uh, I think it's the difference I in don't... atmospheric pressure. I think it's different pressure. Can oh. we actually look this up, Fonz? I actually want to. Fonz, do you know? I, th- I did hear that recently in the podcast. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. I think that's why your listener probably saw it. It might have been. Oh, <laughs> on it, another it... comedy podcast. Oh, no. We're it's hacks. differences in pressure? It's when the cold air, like, you know, hot air rises, cold air drops. Oh, so oh fuck yeah. It brings in the wind. So oh, I'm okay. like kind of low-key wow. on the mic. So you switch Good. chairs now. Damn. You're in. Yeah. Jeff, you're out. Yeah. Well, Pot, t- we've yeah. had a good ride, folks. 91 episodes of Bliss, but it had to come to an end. Yeah, we've done. We've we've really. But now that the podcast needs to change directions and caused we're by the get- uneven heating of the Earth by the sun and the Earth's oh, own rotation. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know about the rotation. I feel like I these, never thought that. these definitions give more than you, like uneven heat. That's too much. Yeah, that's not how they teach that in school Just, at all. They said heat. I was going to yeah. say yeah. What, was, yeah. Yeah. Well, what was your answer going to be, Ben? It was like uh, heat rising or something. Yeah. I don't know. I'm also yeah. a moron, so okay. I'm not I like mean, better I, than I anybody don't know here. No. Weather, no. I, I know nothing about. No, know nothing what causes wind? That one's a. Uh, that was a tough one. I can't remember. I think it might have been Joshua Warren. I believe that was the listener who sent that. No, I remember. Do you really remember? I, that? Or they you just sent, saying something. He sent me a bunch of science questions. I think that was one of them. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Remember, Drago. Why can they ask questions? Who can ask questions? Uh, Patreon members. Patreon members only. Please what are the, subscribe to the. Remember Patreon. the tiers of the Patreon, Drago. Three dollars. You get audio only of you, what of an uh of that week's episode on fr- of the next week's episode on friday you get it early and then for five dollars you get video he, you got it wrong again you got you get a bonus episode for three dollars too but audio only we send <laughs> you know you post two every friday i post four every well, friday video and audio okay yeah 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 Oh this yeah, it's too. scintillating content right here. But yeah, I yeah. want you to get it. Well, I, I routinely don't know how the how the Patreon this works. This is a this running is joke where he can't remember the tiers of the Patreon. And it's actually, uh, I hundred percent don't. I don't. Really <laughs> know. What's and, wild about your dynamic is you're what six six mm-hmm. <laughs> division one athlete, former division one athlete, sure. former. Why do you put up with this? <laughs> What's even current you, headliner? When, when in yeah. your life would you let this man <laughs> take you down the way he takes you this down? He does all, all he does, he just knows history. That's all he knows. Uh, I, yeah, I don't really, know science. He yeah. doesn't really. To me, he doesn't really take me down. He just knows facts. You have sure. no shame. I, that's fair. He that's has fair. no shame in his ignorance. I just, well, I mean, I, I just yeah. don't think I. I like. 
like I need to know when certain wars were. I just don't need. I don't yeah. care. So he says well, you don't know, and I go, oh, I don't care. He's like, I don't. But then yeah. he also never wears boxers, and that's repulsive. <laughs> I'm wearing boxers so it's right like, now. I'll have you, do you know. Show them. Prove I, it to the cam, not to me. I don't need that up. shit. You know, right there, folks. Right. <laughs> here's the it was still a like, tough sell. But Those look the, like old women's they underwear. Are very wet. I'll <laughs> say that they are sweaty. Three weeks. I'll say that. Three weeks ago, he performed with a cum stain on his pants from jacking off earlier. I only brought one and pair of pants yo, ben, on the road. Ben, I swear to you weren't here for so this. Ben's I like, forgot. It's like people say, like, what do I put? I, it's like, yeah. I have to put up. Yeah. Like, it's like, what? He He's never going to. Sorry. I don't know what to do. If like, you, you like hurt saying? him physically, it'd be like hitting like it's, a special it's like, needs person. It's like, like yeah. it's like, it's like uh, kicking an old, it's like beating up an old man. Yeah. There's, no, there's, no, there's no winning with yeah. you. Oh, sorry. I shoot rope, folks. Your you, little dribbly cum couldn't even get to your I, pants. What like I don't that. understand How it's much lost. Of a rope is it if it's on your pants? They were on the floor across uh, <laughs> at the end of the bed. No, it wasn't. Why did I ask? People ask me. Sometimes, like, listeners will DM me. They'd be like, oh, man dude like he like roasts you on history and i'm like did you hear what he said about coming in his pants and performing and coming in his did you hear what he said about how he showers twice a that's week that's a good point the like, only word I, i'm I hearing is coming like i don't think I, I don't think i'm knocked down a peg really ever on this pod. but he's that's, he's just he's Greg like a vile, single and alone he's, he's a he's vile a, human being oh this, yeah he lives life incorrectly oh yeah, yeah. you changed the way i view this whole thing you're I, right I, I you're the alpha i literally don't know what happened in stalingrad but i know how to <laughs> how to fucking clean uh, myself yeah what about that pimple under your nose? Oh, no. What's that? This thing What's is an that? issue. A clean face. The reason yeah. why this is noticeable. It would not, first of all, if you're would, not watching the video, folks, he has a massive Well, this would go on unnoticed nose. on Jeff's terrible face. Like, you would have no <laughs> oh, idea that this was he's even. He's going the, after the moles, the, the, folks. The, the thing is, I, from I have a clean face, so you notice when I have an issue. You are constantly <laughs> at war I with think, your own I face. I think listeners chime in. Who's better looking? I think it's probably 50-50. I... I think That's, I think I got a charm of my own a little boy. bit. Sixty forty. This is what I have to deal I mean, with, 60, man. This 40. is wild. It's not. 60, yeah. 40. This is like living with two parents that I wish I never got to see again. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. This is like. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm like, can't they take both of you away? From it's me? just. I'll live on my own. Emancipate me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a toxic bad dynamic. <laughs> Emancipate me. Emancipate me. This. Oh boy. Wow. That's that funny. Great. All right. Well, that was a good little rant. I hope yeah. you got that out, Drago. If only you went to therapy and had someone to talk to. I don't need yeah. it anymore after that. Yeah. I don't need it. Did you ever go he's no? never, he went like twice a couple times. And he I've been a couple times. tweeted about it once and it went viral and then he never went oh, really? back. Really? Yeah. I, I had a fucking had sick a, tweet. Gra- what was it. the tweet again? Uh, uh, it, it, it was literally just a uh, therapist uh, semicolon. Uh, a lot of my. Semicolon. Co- he doesn't even know it's a colon. It's a colon? This is a great I don't know. redemption. I didn't see the tweet. I don't know what you it put is, there. Uh, it is a colon, yeah. It is a colon, yeah. Therapist, colon, a lot of my clients are feeling that way. And me, okay, rank us. Uh, <laughs> funny. Yeah, funny. you got what you needed out of it. Yeah. 400K. Yeah. 400K, not bad. I sent it to her. I emailed you her. You sent it oh, to your she therapist? She, she, said, <laughs> she said, that's funny. <laughs> she she sent you she, a schedule for more time to come yeah. here. And then she's <laughs> like, when are you meeting she's, she's next like, week? She's like, you shouldn't be doing this. But yeah, <laughs> no, I, I, I also, get my personal email. <laughs> once, I viral, once I went viral like that, I was like, you know what? I feel good enough to go go sure, for it. Sure, and then you had... I think that maybe, that dopamine rush, I was like, oh, I'm... Sure. I'm cured. Sure. <laughs> I, yeah, that was it. I can't say that's unhealthy. That's how we all are. Sure. So we all <laughs> we yeah. all do experiences just so we can tweet right. about them and hopefully. I'll be go cutting viral. myself and then a tweet gets like just enough likes. And I'm like, you know what? 13's good enough. <laughs> I don't know. It's more. a tweet about cutting yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I guess I'll stop. I guess we got what we wanted. That is true. You, t- do you ever so, go to therapy, Ben? I have never gone to therapy. You have never gone either. Okay. No, I for sure should. But I yeah. uh I, I should go back. I absolutely should. Yeah. Do you feel like it, I feel like you were so anti-therapy for a long time? I was, but then you go and it is a yeah. beautiful experience. Oh, really? You find it was the really right person. For you. Yeah. yeah, it helped me well, a lot. I wish it, I should what go did back. What did it do for you? It showed me how to deal with my anxiety, which is something that would change your life dramatically. I have Alex. not been on the receiving end of, of your therapy uh, come up at all. Oh, I haven't been on the receiving end of your- I don't your think I did di- it during the pod. It happened before the podcast. Yeah. Or maybe just at the beginning, yeah. I'm a very much better person. Not there yet. It's a journey. 
It's a journey, folks. I'm a B plus human. <laughs> I'll get to an A minus one day. The face you're making right now. You got a mug to the camera, Ben. Come oh, on. Boy. Mug. Everyone loves a you mug. You don't need therapy. You need prison. That's <laughs> what I want for you. Did you hear him just call himself a B plus human? <laughs> B plus? What do you think you are? Oh, this is fun. There yeah. we go. We'll, we'll rank ourselves. Yeah, grade yourself it. too, Ben. Okay. What you do go you first. Let me think. Most days, I'll give myself a B. Oh, 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 humble. He had to go okay. one slightly below. I'll give myself a B. Yeah, Fuck. a letter grade above his grades in college. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that was like uh, C plus B yeah. minus. Okay, there we go. Fuck me. What are you going to give yourself, Ben? See, now... He, Wait he, a minute. This is stupid. We what? don't have to do this. You just did it. You I'll, called me out. You're not a B plus human. Let's just move on. I don't think B plus is good. I guess my parents believed in me a little more. B plus is I wasn't leaving the house for a week. Jeff's mom played our podcast theme song as we were walking into his house <laughs> for, for his headlining That's weekend. so yeah, funny. Well, she also told me to go to grad school for eight straight years, so... Glad she finally. So she got was on. right. <laughs> yeah. She was right. She's not wrong in that. She's at a little all. late on the comedy bandwagon. Comedy moms are really funny because they'll if they, either they hate their kid in comedy or they're way too supportive. Way too support. I would rather the hate. Drago has that, and I, I would the, rather. I'm the, I'm I the prefer hate. the hate. Honestly, I'm the hate. And look yeah. at you both. You're sitting at the same table. Yeah. yeah. It look doesn't at that. matter. It's yeah. pretty cool. It doesn't, how do your How do your parents feel about comedy? Uh, I don't talk to my dad. I haven't talked to my dad in like ten years uh, because I started comedy. And, right. uh, <laughs> is that uh, true is that why? i haven't talked to him in a long time no it's okay. because he uh made a lot of bad financial decisions alcoholic depressive and blamed it on my ah, family yes that'll do uh, that'll do and also it just wasn't like a good hang um <laughs> <laughs> bad social media presence it's yeah. like dude the vibes are off you know what I mean? <laughs> get out of here dog <laughs> uh but my mom my mom is supportive she doesn't i don't you know she doesn't really know how to use like technology so she's not gonna listen to this podcast oh like sure but, perfect yeah uh you know she she been to shows she's been to at least two i think for sure st cloud did you yeah. know st cloud Back minnesota yeah, wow yeah. Okay. also so so yeah we're we're both from minnesota are you what, do you have a Minnesota kid? That isn't He's my, my dad's from Mini, uh, from Duluth. I love that. My dad's side of him. That makes Duluth. me like you a little bit more. Is that yeah, fucked up? That is a good, a yeah, good so, thing about Trump. And I like you, but Thank I you, like man. you a little bit more because yeah, of that. Yeah, Duluth boy. Yeah. Yeah. Grew up in Moose Lake. Oh, yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. I got you. In, so there, I don't. Sticks. So, like, she's just supportive enough for all that shit. She's seen some shows in St. Cloud, a place that I never knew how to explain to people here i haven't but been there a lot honestly you had like a you posted some fucking joke or something i was like that's perfectly it oh, was basically really? about like the like the summer festivals that everyone oh does. yeah yeah the dumbass i was so mad i was like that's exactly what i've been trying Saint to explain Cloud to people. is like that yeah. and comrade trip you know comrade oh yeah i love comrade has an amazing joke about how racist it is and he's a uh, he's like black mixed i think and like perfectly encapsulates how racist but just like no one cares definitely look up comrade trip so very funny, funny on instagram great clips he's very funny the new york times said uh st cloud was like the most xenophobic place in america no yeah. way yeah. holy shit minnesota on the map gang gang sorry those coastal come and visit unless can't you're beat not us. one of us you, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you grow up in st cloud you're from i'm like a little a bit outside, outside yeah i'm from yeah. a place called albany which albany okay didn't have the big money of st cloud but had all the racism <laughs> Stuff, so it was good. I didn't yeah. even get the good stuff. No, okay. we had a mini golf course. We had a Dairy Queen, and we had a, a Dairy of... Queen underrated though. Yeah, oh, love Dairy, Dairy Queen, Queen. Well, probably the best fast food besides Culver's. What's your order at DQ? Oh, this is now we're getting to the tough questions. Okay, I'm not even really doing ice cream. I'm going to talk to you. Everyone goes in like, Dude, oh, I want a vanilla oh, cone. No, 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 that's, no that's actually I, I'm with you. It's I insane. want like chicken strips, fries, and then some sort of slushy combination. Oh that's no, Blizzard. Blizzard? What am I? Twelve? Blizzards are amazing. I, I, I also oh. I, I'm getting the I'm getting like the the strawberry quake shake strawberry quake okay. oh i don't even know what that Strawber is strawberry quake yeah. special like, order for special, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> strawberry quake something six okay. five or above <laughs> yeah there's the, a new I, menu i get a different people. menu but i yeah. also would get the popcorn shrimp sue me that is popcorn insane <laughs> sue you me. ordered the po that's crazier <laughs> than not wearing boxers some days you will go dairy no. queen you go to a dairy queen in the middle of indiana and order popcorn shrimp middle of northbrook illinois <laughs> and order popcorn shrimp they Fresh. have popcorn shrimp I didn't know and that fries <laughs> okay the, and no fries. one cares about the fries that's crazy popcorn to me. shrimp 
That's Fresh the bravest thing I've Michigan? ever heard. What the fuck? I can't, it can't be. I know. I, yeah, I know there aren't shrimp in Lake Michigan. <laughs> it can't a facetious be. Facetious remark. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they get it from, man. <laughs> I don't know where the shrimp. <laughs> I don't <come> care. From. <laughs> you don't give a shit. Do they still turn the shrimp upside yeah. upside out? <laughs> it's it like, sticks oh. to the cup. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Oh my. It's intense. They're but it's good? good. You order popcorn. I love shrimp. it. The sh- the That's sh- sick. The strawberry I'm- strawberry cheese quake. Oh yeah! That's a oh yeah! It's like a cheesecake shake. That's pretty good. It's like Sorry, cheesequake. It's basically a blizzard. I like I like it when people kind of and I'm saying this respectfully, kind of like out fat me at these places. <laughs> <laughs> you your order is what people expect me to order. Yeah. <laughs> but I like that. That's like a bold choice, but it's original and it's good. You uh, like it. You stand by dude, it. Dude, I have that for you. Uh, I have ha- I have some pretty disgusting like high high meal orders, dude. Oh. You know what? I I can get in some some. some Deep terrain, the worst man. meal art I've ever seen. I one of our good friends, I believe it was Jenna Gephardt, our good friend. Oh, shout out to Jenna. She ordered chili, uh, a bowl of chili at Culver's with a shake, with a milkshake. Yeah, that's sad. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. That's the worst order I've ever heard. That's so I couldn't funny. sit. Next it is to very her. funny. I couldn't be Again, around her. That is something. If we were sitting next to each other, they brought that out. They would give that to me and not to me. <laughs> <laughs> be like, like, you could never have possibly ordered that. Clearly, oh sir, God. you are going to destroy a toilet tonight. <laughs> could be a sign of depression. And for the lady, but... air. You know? <laughs> Chili and That's a milkshake. So funny. I can't think She's about so it. Funny. We yeah, love Jenna. Jenna Rock. She's been on the pod? She has not. Wow, we have, we try to have about women every 20 episodes or so. We're doing a couple apps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Women, so, women so, out of you, man. Yeah. Kind of, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, they, actually. They, they haven't yeah. really, they haven't earned it quite yet to get on more. Drago often, got in but. a fight with one of the women we had on a podcast, <laughs> and we had to, we had to put the damper on it since I, then. I, I, I still just don't think I'm at fault there. But we'll uh, we actually got in a fight with someone? He was uh, it, before there the pod. They got in a huge Huge fight before the episode, and then it was simmering for 90 straight minutes. It was so awkward. I had to carry okay. the pod for 90 minutes. Fonz, you were there, right? Fonz was there. Absolutely brutal. It Dude, was it brutal. Was, it Wait, sucked. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. We, the it. listeners Just remember. Tell me what race the, we they can were. say who it was. We talked about it on the episode. We're not going to go into the details, but it was the Maddie, oh, okay, yeah. the Maddie Smith episode. I love Maddie Smith, oh, but yeah. Drago okay. got in a little stiff with her. Yeah, she, she talks just, about how she hates you all the time. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. no, I know it does. No, dude, it was. Oh my god, it was so intense. So we've had to kind so of stick bad. with really? fellas ever since because Drago couldn't handle I the feminine ju- I, energy. I didn't think I crossed. Uh, a line, we but can't apparently, get into it, unfortunately. Like, I, so, what does Nick Cannon's dick actually taste <laughs> yeah, like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just curious. <laughs> Just dudes asking God. dudes. I honestly, like, I, honestly, I wish I asked that. Maddie's I wish on, I asked. That Maddie's too. on Wild and Out. If you didn't get oh, the sorry, joke, yeah, just yeah, to yeah. explain to the listeners. Sorry, yeah. I didn't know your listeners were so stupid. They are. We, we love our time. idiots. We love the idiots. Jeez, we love no, we guys. love them. <laughs> no, they watched the damn episode. Sorry, I blew up. They did watch the damn episode. You are right. You are right. I'm the I'm the context guy. I like to. It's been a long, long day. Long know, day, yeah. Long you, have to to work, you had to work today. Yeah, yeah I'm did. one of those successful comedians with a day job. Yeah, still, you know? Drago, James. Drago hey, clocked we're in crushing today, it, too. We're crushing yeah, it. You know. That's what it is. But I do, let's, let's take a listen to question okay, while we're watching. Let's go to the question. Here. I think this is actually a good question about the road. Yeah, okay. What are some of the best food you guys have ha- have had on the road? Mmm. Yes. Um, yeah, this, who is he, it? He's like, he's like not, he's like not just like barbecue in Memphis, but any weird off the beaten path shit uh, you come across, local standouts, or have uh, something people less traveled might have. Who, come who is this from? Uh, Rudy Schultz. Rudy Schultz. We know Rudy, Chicago comedian. We but I, I do think you can generalize some things, like the like the shit in Cincinnati is fucking really good. What shit? Uh, the conies, the, co- the conies. Oh, I love that shit. That is really Cincinnati. funny. Yeah. The chili, the chili. Not to generalize, but I love the shit in Cincinnati. The chili dogs, right? The, the chili dogs. The, no, you mean Skyline the Skyline the chili? chili? Skyline chili, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? You I think like it's good. Skyline chili. It is. Do you know what Skyline good. chili is? I know what it is. I've never had it. It's like it. bad. It's like the cheapest like possible no, 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 with chili no, you on get top. It, you get the dogs, the chili dogs. Oh, oh you like the chili dog? That's not really a sense. That's more of a Detroit thing, the Coney Island dog. But yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I get a coney, two conies with cheese on it. Oh, really? Okay. okay. I, I'm not a fan of that, but I can see how you would like it. Yeah, really, I get really it. Good. I get it. I'm, uh, I, I actually was going to say barbecue in Memphis, but rendezvous barbecue. Okay. Our friend Charlie Vergos. Oh, you know, Charlie, his Charlie family it's owns actually amazing. it. They own it. Yeah. I went there with him. 
and they like ushered us into a back booth in the back and just brought out plates of ribs for free. It was amazing. How good is that? A feel? VIP experience at uh, a Memphis well, barbecue you, I mean, was you, pretty good. You know, that Jeff is not paying for any of that <laughs> shit. Anywhere he goes, dude, this His guy family owns the restaurant. This, yo, this oh, dude, I forgot my card. He, sorry. Oh my god, dude, dude, the oh amount, of, the amount, god. the amount of parties we had in Chicago, and Jeff showed up with a beer in a fucking tr- a paper bag oh was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. You're a smart guy, but you lack manners. You know. Yeah. Yeah, man, for sure, for manners, sure, for empathy. Sure. So, empathy. You're, you're thinking empathy. Oh, you're socially yeah, stupid. Drago. Mr. He, empathy. He really Where doesn't. did you flee to during the Black Lives Matter marches? It, oh Drago? my God. Into the arms a, of a black to woman. The suburbs, to the was, suburbs, it, I believe. Dur- <laughs> it wasn't because of the marches. I you think piece it was. I like it to was think it was. It was the beginning of the pandemic, and I went to my parents' place. <laughs> I, I like to think cause and effect. I don't know. You're right. I'm kidding. I was kidding. He's like, they're just playing their music so loud. <laughs> That's why I have to move out of Bushwick. <laughs> oh, God, don't get me started There's a on Bushwick. a mariachi band on the corner. Mm, <laughs> it's Bush- a loud neighborhood. Bushwick <laughs> is not my scene. Story is pretty quiet. Oh, story is outside. legitimately an amazing You might area. be cut off from the city if, if, you, if the train decides not to run. But yeah, you it only is have quiet. one train line, but otherwise yeah. it is great. Just yeah, so how do you like Astoria? I do like it, but I'm, you know, I'm old, I'm married, whatever. So, but like our man. block is quiet. Have you, you stayed I've been there, place, yeah. Like, I stayed there one It's quiet, like there's nothing happening, but if, you know, there's good restaurants. There's a lot of Greek uh, food and places to go and shit. So you're at the well, end well, of well, the line. Tell, the tell line. us about your uh, your uh, your go-to road food or yeah, some places, I was places trying to, you like. I was trying to stall. I haven't answered any of the questions you've asked me so far. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have noticed that. I have noticed <laughs> I'm really that. good at that. Uh, I, I don't know if I have a great answer for this. I do I do love, uh, this is basic, but I do love Ian's Pizza in Madison. Ian, oh, in Madison? It's great really pizza spot. Definitely. Mac and cheese Johnson, slice. Yep. If you're oh, yeah. Really, they really, got really good, good ranch, too. Okay. That's the secret of Ian. They have great homemade ranch okay. in-house. They make right. it. It's really that. thick that ranch. You got that thick ranch. I feel like there's a lot of good, this isn't, I mean, it's the road for me now, but I feel like there are a lot of good spots in Minneapolis. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to think off the top of my I head. I mean, like, Holy Land is a great spot. Sure, Holy Land is a great spot. Uh, Matt's Bar with the Juicy Lucy. If you want like a, a late spot. spot, like Uptown Diner. Uptown is like a Diner is like a, what a New York Diner thinks it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has absolutely. actually good food. New absolutely. York Diners are absolute trash. I, they're, they're, I they've don't changed. get why they are it's, good. It's rough. It's like. The food is so bad. You get two things. It's $45. <laughs> we <laughs> went to, where we went? What was that? We went to the TikTok. TikTok. It was so bad. I got a grilled cheese sandwich with tomato on it. It was d- almost uneatable. It well, so unfortunately, bad. they are the sponsor of this episode, so <laughs> I don't know what you want TikTok from me. Tavern, here. Yeah. <laughs> I I was at a diner recently, and uh, <laughs> a rat just scampered through the diner. Oh my god! And the way nobody reacted. <laughs> Let Show me that know. it happens yeah, a lot. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, I can never come back I can't here. deal with that. I, I would be, I would be, I was that in Astoria? Yeah. That, yeah, I can't deal with that. That was a rough one I was thinking another uh, road food, uh, JJ Crickets. I wrote this down. Oh, yeah, JJ Crickets in Atlanta. Okay. Lemon pepper wings. There you Amazing. Go. Very good. I'm going JJ to Atlanta Crickets. in October. I'm oh, you got to check it out. There, it's that one. There's another one people recommend too, but that's the one I want. I, I, I also forgot. The, the name of the place in Columbus I really like. Simon took me there. Man, really, a great question. I'm glad you picked the question. It's a great one. Well, there's it. a place in Columbus that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> what was Google it? good places in Columbus. <laughs> and you'll probably get there. What type of food was it? It was like a bar, and we got these, uh, and they they, they save us, uh, they gave us like these unbelievably good smash burgers. Oh, yeah. and they were let like me... six dollars. It's like the presidential or something. No, like, l- let me was look it at like mine right and... by the venue, right by where Simon lives. Yeah, let me look up. Let me I look at my Simon's what... text real quick. Cause he... was it like were they like cheap? Was it sl- Matt Mash Burger Brothers Sliders? Was it Fonz just Googled it? Do you you don't? No, remember? it's a, it's like a bar. I think it was Embassy, isn't it Embassy? No, he took me to a place that was pretty good. Columbus had it did have Ash and M's. Was it Ash and M's? There's no way you're gonna remember this. Well, okay. <laughs> he, he, what are I you? Was, is what this is, good oh, podcast? No, yeah, I, is this good <laughs> content for the people? Just Fonz looking like, at a Stop. map, being like, "All right, you We're take 95." Girl. <laughs> I think there's a restaurant over here. I don't know. Just looking at a Google map. <laughs> it's on. It's on high. Well, why it's did, on high why street. Why did you pick the question if you didn't remember a single answer you had? <laughs> you didn't prepare an answer. Wait, did I, I say, down. No, I said I like uh, Cincinnati. Yeah, you said you like Coney shit dogs. from Cincinnati. The Coney dog. Yeah, dogs. once I prompted you. Yeah, yeah. I wrote down too. I prepared for this question. 
It's yeah. what people don't know about me. I Literally prepare. one line of text. <laughs> right there. <laughs> not I, even a full. I, sorry, I did Not it. even all the way across. I wrote down Pramonti Brothers Sandwich in Pittsburgh, an amazing sandwich chain. Pittsburgh has actually good food. Pittsburgh, you have I serial love. killer handwriting. Oh, yeah, my handwriting is illegible. No one can read it. I hate You can that. zoom in if you want on the yeah. background That notebook listeners, looks like it's but... made out of skin. <laughs> can't stand and it. And maybe it is. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Greatness it's green. Is, greatness is never understood in its time. Should folks. we do another question? Sure. I hope you prepared for this one. Oh, uh, I haven't, but here we go. <laughs> God damn what it. defines crushing and what defines bombing, and how do you judge comics on how different their standards are for those terms? Cool. Robert Ooh. O'Toole. Robert O'Toole. Thank you for saying in your question. For Thank the you. Major. How do I know that name? Uh, is he a Minnesota person? I think there was a comedian with a similar name. <laughs> no, this is not him. There was a comedian with a similar name. I think. You know, like, okay, I yeah. think I, I think I know who you're talking about, but it's not. This okay. is not them. I'm pretty sure. All right. Congrats on not being the other guy. Because <laughs> they were, yeah, they were bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but what if they are? Yeah. That would be fun to. Thanks edit for your out. question. Yeah, thank you. What do you consider, Drago? You got an answer for this one? Crushing I think or I have like my def. I think I oh, I would have like my own definite. That's what we're definition asking, yeah. of crushing. <laughs> but I think it's like, but maybe it is uh, different to everyone. Cause like, if yeah, you're doing, if, if you're doing, yeah. if you're doing standard for six months, like a crush is like, what would be like a very okay set? Maybe well, sure. Like you, you should, the crush should go up over time. Yeah. You should also, if you look, you should only crush like once or twice a year. Like, Ooh, people are saying, nope. but you, <laughs> no. you should only say that you I crush. Agree. Yeah, I people agree are, with that. People are posting crushed. Everyone crushed. They I did agree. it. But they you should it. actually do well most yeah, of the yeah, time yeah, you yeah. stand up. You should do well, but you shouldn't say I, I, I crushed I think more the, than like a couple times a year. Obviously, a crush is when you're was like when you're getting laughs every like 15 seconds for, for your most of your for pretty much your whole set, and they're loud laughs, they're big laughs, they're roll, they're rolling, rolling laughs. More, laugh. more importantly, yeah. a crush is when you can't start the next joke because they. They won't shut up right that's yeah. what it is when Ooh, your like premises that. are getting yeah. laughs that's a crush and i but i think it's more interesting to define bombing because i think some people this is a may, may have a way bigger mostly because actually. none of us at this table have ever crushed we've never I think. <laughs> so i think it's <sighs> we, we are still trying to, to figure we've it bombed, out we we're, both bombed in new jersey this weekend drag oh and, uh, where were you banana oh. we, we shouldn't say the comedy club because we trashed it but oh, no. it's in a hotel in rutherford new jersey i feel comfortable it's in a conference room in a hotel it was huh. it, it shouldn't I didn't know that till I went there, but yeah. Yeah, I had a great time when I was there. Really? Yeah, oh, interesting. Well, no, two out of three two, shows. Our first were great. two shows. Two were awesome. of, yeah, the third one was poorly attended and uh, just loud Italians. So, yeah, that's probably... I, I like them if they're Italian. I like them if they're loud. I don't like and both. That's, but that's, I don't like but that's the thing. I think I don't like. I think a lot of people would have watched that and not defined that as a bomb. Though, but no, we that, define it. That's as a, a bomb, bomb after doing comedy for ten years. I would have considered that. I would have been happy with that three years ago. Gotcha. Yeah. I would have been like, I made it through this tough gig. I did it, but I yeah. consider it a bomb. Tough I think a, a tough, like, it was a tough, th that crowd was yeah, tough. Yeah, I'm just there was a say. lady. I mean, they were chanting, how tall are you at Alex? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was, it was very funny. Did you was, answer? Uh, dude, it was unbelievable. Yeah. That's it was really unbelievable. They would not stop heckling us. That's really yeah, funny. Was, uh, and the manager was in the hallway and didn't watch the show at all. Yeah. <laughs> I was there with Ariel Elias and people lined up to get autographs and pictures with her after. So too bad about your set. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I honestly think that like that when people, I think a bomb for me, like when I'm watching, is like they're getting maybe two or three laughs in like a 10 minute set. A titters. They're getting in like, like an eight minute. <laughs> yeah, they're All getting right. like they're, they're getting like where like they they you don't know when the joke ends. That's I also when a bomb I is. also in my head I don't count when someone's doing crowd work. I, I don't I don't count it. What do you mean? Like when someone's like bombing really badly and then they go up and they're just like uh like they they say some shit about like oh are you two dating or whatever and they're like why when you answer like they get a little pop from like some bullshit oh, you don't factor that into oh, the bomb okay. it's Fuck, still it's, a, it's I, like you're still bombing sure. me, crowd dude. work is easy i like you not factoring that into their time like if you're yeah. a club owner <laughs> yeah, yeah they do yeah. 10 minutes of crowd work and they hit their time they like, didn't even start the timer more. yeah yeah ten I, can't do a fucking I gotta joke. see the jokes <laughs> that's no, one of the main theses of this podcast is that crowd work is easy folks and it it's evil it is not it is good but it's not that hard and that's coming Coming from the king of crowd work, the over king here, of crowd folks. work. Come so, on, yeah, yeah, come on. I think I think a bomb. Here's a bomb for me. When no one's paying attention, do you oh, remember? Oh, like, That's yeah. one of the worst feeling. You oh, are going yeah. all out. Yeah, you're just like, and then. My wife died. Yeah, they're, they're just, they're just <laughs> no, they're just looking at know. their phones. They're talking. Yeah. But, that but, is the yeah, worst. But, brutal. But yes. here's the thing. So it's like if you do like a like a shitty one nighter road gig in the in some bar in the middle of nowhere, 
and people are watching the game instead of watching you and there's 16 people God, in there. I'm getting so sad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and we, we, we've all done those. But and it's like, I will continue to. But, sure. but, but those are like, sometimes those are not a bomb. That's like, I don't, those are just the worst. Those are just, a, that's just a bad, that's I don't a brutal count room. That. If there's distractions in the room, that doesn't count. But if it's at you a know? comedy club and they're like talking amongst themselves because you've lost them, sure. that's a bomb. If there's 100 yeah. people in front of you or 50 people in front of you even, and you're not getting anything, then you're real. Then that's a real. That's because yeah. you, you know what I'm saying. Because there's, I mean, there's also some bar shows here where there's literally six people in the audience, and the, and the producers like we're fucking doing it. And you're yeah, like, great, dude. So now we're all just gonna <laughs> like you can't really. Count I did a, sh- I did a show with one, uh, technically one audience no. member, uh, and it was like I was like I could have been with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had a real. Moment. You could have been home with your wife. I was like I could be starting a family. Why did right they do now. the show? There were enough comedians, and they thought other people were coming back. And no yeah. one came. I, yeah, I, not, I, went, I was like, I'll go first. Why did the one person here. stay? Saddest person in America. Oh. I don't know. Oh. You tell me. I, no life. No love yeah. to all the lonely men who come to my shows alone. But I do wonder why you do it. Coming uh, to a show alone is different than being the only audience yes, member. Yes, I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah. Just if, don't sit up front. Folks. If you're the only audience member at the show, you better be shooting it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take us all out. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, people yeah. will remember us fondly. <laughs> like, that's all I ask. Of you. Like, oh, Ben, he killed in his prime. <laughs> killed in his prime. Died doing what he loved. His new hour was killer. Entertaining oh, one guy. <laughs> In Midtown on a Friday, oh my. Well, his was wife probably Midtown? cheated on him. Oh yeah, man, yeah. oh boy. Uh, but yeah, I just remember like old, like when I first started, like doing bar shows and literally in the back of the room, standing on top of a chair to be like, "I'm doing comedy." Yeah. Oh, and they're this just they matters. have no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those are some sad days. Drago's giving me the light. We got about five minutes to wrap up this episode. What about and the thing is, what there was another part of the question you didn't read, Drago, wasn't there? Didn't he um, say like, "How do you judge comedians who?" And what, how they is, define is it, bombing. And, and do you judge comics and how different their standards are for those? Yes. Two? Or that, just by race. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and by yeah, race y- and their standards. Yes to yes, that yes. and the Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I hate comics who don't realize they bomb. When sure. you bomb and you just act like nothing happened, that pisses me off. <laughs> that bothers, that bothers me when more some- than uh, transphobia. No, I'm kidding. When, okay, we should some- have said that. that <laughs> no, no, no. I, we didn't say I that. Thought- <laughs> you said that. We didn't say it. I anything. thought it was funnier. We didn't say the it. lack of reaction from my co host and my guest realized it was a bad riff, folks. But we just thought you I were actually, speaking your truth. I thought I stand by it, actually. It was kind of funny. I think, okay. some, I think some listeners probably laughed at it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I as bad as, it wasn't as bad as binary. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh, that binary was, a, good joke. was now, a low moment. I bet our listeners loved binary. That's Let us clip. know if you did. That's absolutely the clip. That That's will probably clip. be yeah, the clip. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, man. Okay. I don't know. Everyone's just doing different shit. Who cares? It's like yes. uh, you. You have to sure. be. You kind of have to have grace with certain people on stage. Like they can be the worst piece of shit ever whatever who cares they're just trying jokes they might be bad they might be good sure. who cares okay. there's so many other shitty people off stage that i'd rather you just do your little bits up there and right. i don't care i have a question for you okay. guys i have a okay. question for you guys before we sign off here what was the last bomb that really shook you for like a day or two well we just were talking about it that one yeah what we just bananas in New Jersey and oh, bananas. Yeah. Oranges gig. Wait, that, Our gig at Oranges. Wait, that one that one shook you for a day? A little bit because I was like, because the, the first show was so good and like people came out to see me and that show they were talking. It was just like in the com- hotel. I didn't. I thought I was done doing shows. Yeah, but no, but that, but that was that was that was a, a situation. The future of comedy. Again, yeah, all yeah, yeah, all yeah. Was, no, but that was that show had so many variables going. I'm talking about like where, where you just went up. To a decent room, and had a good opener. Actually, and had a good, yes, you're, really thank you. you yes. That is tough. You had, that is you tough. had, a, good, you had a good feed. I, no, but you're just no, but you're just. Like, I mean, I ate my ass at the Fat Black Lounge the other day at the, one of the cellars rooms. Does like, it hurt two, extra two when nights? it's at the cellar? Yeah, that was the. This was the first time I've bombed. Okay. I, I've had over okay so that's for i actually bombed the other night because yeah. aziz ansari dropped in earlier so they were already done they'd yeah. had their fill and then the show was also too long and i went up after it was i went up at hour two probably Oof. and they were done 
They were, and I was going up with my new child porn bit, and boy, yeah. did it not go well. So they were mad really because Aziz stunk. had just talked about how he also loves child porn. So. <laughs> yeah. like, They're like, Again? the famous guy already did this. Okay, keep it moving. I had a really bad set. That shook me yeah, That's a little really bit. Funny. Yeah. yeah, Jeff does uh, like a child porn joke for his fans for four straight shows on the road, comes back to like New York, and they're like, why aren't you also liking this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, why aren't you guys who don't know me like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the problem. That is the problem. You get sp- Spoiled if they sure. li- if you have fans they drag you'll find out one day. Sure, <laughs> I, w- I won't respect them though. It'll be all right. That's the way they like what? it. Yeah. If it makes you feel better, you're probably the most quoted comedian in my apartment. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow. Does and that it, hurt? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do I have anything funny to say? No, that there actually bothers go. me a lot. But it's Shut uh, up. it's just me and uh, my lady walking around going, Lexi. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the hot cousin bit. My mom hates that one. <laughs> Had to change it to the special. Had to change the name. Oh, boy. I actually ran into that cousin at a family function over a week ago. She does not talk to me anymore. Oh, uh, did she actually hear the bit? She must have. She And she doesn't really seem like she has a great sense of humor That's a catch-22, right? Because yeah, yeah. either she, does, she hears it and she hates it, or she doesn't listen to your comedy. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Bitch. Which one do I want? Can I see a pic after this? Uh... Uh, no, I'm not showing you a pic yeah, of my cousin. You are. She's not yes, actually. You are. I don't think I she's got hot. it. I'll show you. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to find her. You Guys. found her. You found her. <laughs> well, all right, let's sign off. Let's okay, get to the Patreon. Okay, we're in the Patreon. We'll show a picture of my hot cousin. We will not be <laughs> ben, doing do that. Ben, do some plugs. We're your Instagram, any yeah, dates. Yeah, where can people up? find you, Ben? Follow me on Instagram at Shaq Katzner. On Instagram, Shaq like the basketball player, Katzner, K A T Z N E R. Yes, there we go. Coming to a few different places. I'm coming to Denver with Chad Daniels, Atlanta oh, with Chad there Daniels. We go. I'm coming back to Minneapolis in September. I don't know what's coming out. Um, no, that's right. perfect. That's September's good. Are you great, Comedy yeah. Works with Chad Daniels? I am there we go. Works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. Probably that is such a great. That is such a great gig, man. Yeah, that's I'm good probably gig. gonna have a nice little bomb story after that. No, sure. that's no, gonna you're be gonna kill crush, city. Dude, that's gonna kill city. God, that's I'm so jealous. Drago, what do you have to plug? September eighth, two weeks. September eighth and 9th, Vermont Comedy Club opening for Ron. That's great. What are you talking that's about? Good. That's awesome. That I'm, is I'm good, but it's coming out after that. But ho- uh, hopefully people came to the uh, show. So in two weeks, uh, Fargo, the Comedy Cellar, headlining. <laughs> I love that Come. they call it the Comedy Cellar Such in Fargo, North move. Dakota. The they they came room. here to, for a show in New York. They're like, we're going to make another one. <laughs> and then, uh, September, <laughs> and 20, it's a great September 28th, I'm opening for Jeff at Helium, Philly. September 29th, I'm yeah. headlining Don't Tell Comedy, Philly. Ooh. There we go. Nice. And uh, folks, you know, La Jolla Comedy Store. I'm going oh, wow. there with friend of the pod, John Kennedy, Let's go. opening for me. Ben, you're opening for me in late November. Now it's not for a while, but Washington, D.C. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't bring me. it up, but yeah. No, it's going to be big. DC Comedy <laughs> Loft. It's going to be good. And what was the... Oh, Philly, of course. Philly Helium. And Spokane and Tacoma and Boise. Never thought I'd say that, but I'm doing a show in Idaho. Whitecomedian.com, folks. Please listen. Drago, this is episode 90... I think 91. I wrote down 91. We are now one episode N-word We're two, free. Uh, two episodes N-word free. Oh, two episodes N-word free. We have a... It's a long running a, gag. Us. A <laughs> long running <laughs> gag because Joe Rogan said it, so we were trying. But then Simeon Goodson said the N word. Let and me stop con- you niggas right now. All right. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> You're starting over. <laughs> back, back to one, folks. <laughs> oh, man. Now that is funny. That we're back to zero, funny. folks. We we're hoping to get to 100. Ben, ben oh. holds the title. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a championship belt material that, that right there. Great. There we go. Damn, we're back to zero, zero. folks. 100 <laughs> more now till the big party in Little Rock, Arkansas. Boom, 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 boom. We got to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bit. That's the bit. We have a we have a gathering if we get to a hundred in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> a free speech gathering. It's definitely the go. place where you can say it as yeah, much as you want. That's yeah, that's why yeah. it feels like the last safe space in America. Pretty you know, good. unfortunately. But uh, that's it. Good night and good luck. Bye. Okay. Also, you guys just want to give a quick birthday shout out to a, a listener of the pod, Elena D. Old friend, uh, what uh, she's been, her and uh, my friend Lisa, they've been fans of mine since the beginning. Wanted to give her a 33rd birthday shout. She's been a listener since the beginning. Happy birthday, Elena. Thanks for listening. I'm sorry for everything we've said. Bye. <laughs>